Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Dextroid and in this video we're going to look at how to install Lineage OS on any Android phone. So before moving on, make sure your phone has bootloader unlocked and it has a custom recovery installed, uh, like TWRP recovery. And also you need to know your phone's CPU architecture. If you don't know what your CPU architecture is, then simply download this app called Droid Info and open it and go to the system tab and you will find your phone CPU architecture there. In my case, it's ARM as I'm using OnePlus One. The next thing you need to do is you need to go to download.lineageos.org and on the left hand side, you need to choose your phone's model. And on the right hand side, you will see some zip files and there are two types of files. The one is experimental and the other is nightly. So if you are running Sanogen mod or an official version of Lineage OS, then you can download experimental zip file and flash it and you don't have to wipe your data. But if you're running a different ROM or you want to install Lineage OS from fresh, then you should download the latest nightly version of Lineage OS. And on the left hand side, if you will scroll down to the end, you will see an extra tab here. Click on it and you will see some zip files here. Here you can see the super user zip file and you should know your CPU's architectures. In my case, I need to download super user ARM version of the zip file. You need the zip file to root your Lynch OS. And you can also download super user removal zip file if you ever want to remove super user from your phone. So next you need to go to opengaps.org. Here you need to choose your platform according to your CPU's architecture. Next here choose the Android version. And on this side you need to choose the variant of GApps. I would recommend you to choose Aroma version because it will allow you to enable Google Assistant while flashing the ROM. But if you want to download the other version then you can also do so. Once you download all of these files you can move them to the internal storage of your phone. Once you have moved all the files on your phone you need to power off your phone. Now we need to go to recovery so for that I'm gonna press power button and volume down button at the same time until I see the OnePlus logo. So if you are running unofficial Lineage OS or Cyanogen mod then you should go to install and look for the experimental zip Select it and flash it. But if you are someone who is running a different ROM, then you need to go to wipe and factory reset your phone. Once that's done, you need to go back to the main menu and go to install and now choose the nightly build zip file swipe to flash it once that's done you need to go back and choose the gapp zip file in my case i will choose aroma zip file swipe to flash it Now tap on next, you can either complete an install or customize your installation. Here you need to choose all the apps that you want to install. In the advanced option, you need to check Google Assistant. If you want to install Google Assistant, then tap on Next.
Once the installation is complete, you need to tap on next and then tap on finish. Now you need to go back and choose add on SU zip file to root your phone. Now reboot your phone. It will take some time to boot your phone for the first time. After reboot, you need to set up your phone. Now, if you want to root your phone, then you need to go to settings, scroll down, tap on about phone, then scroll down and tap seven times on build number then go back and go to developer options scroll down and choose apps only to enable root access now long press on home button to open google assistant and set up your google assistant so that's it guys, you have installed Linux OS on your phone, you have rooted your phone and you have also enabled Google Assistant on your phone. So I hope this video helped you, if it did then give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe to this channel and check out these videos on the screen and I will see you in the next one.